Hey guys, it's Mark from markpetersphotography.com and today we're out of the dark room and into my kitchen so I can show you guys how to load film in these three cameras. We have a Mamiya RB67, a Rolleiflex and a 35mm manual Pentax camera. And as a bonus, I'm also going to show you guys how to load some bulk film into a used 35mm cartridge. So let's get started. All right, so first up we have the Mamiya RB67. This is a medium format camera and it takes 120 film. So to get the back open, first thing we wanna do is we'll pull this silver lever right here. We'll pop that open. It opens the door like that and the cartridge comes out. First thing to note is that in a 120 film cartridge or a spool, the old spool that is now empty will become the pickup spool. So this spool here needs to get moved over to that side. So we do that by pressing this silver button right here. Remove the cartridge. And we move it over to Move it over to the other side, just like that. Then what we'll do is we'll grab the new roll of film. And you would think that you would load it in like this, but that would be backwards. You want to load it in like that. So again, you start by pushing the little lever, folding this guy in there like so. And then we wrap the film around like that until it comes out like so. Wrap it around and start winding it. And we keep winding it until these arrows right here line up with that arrow right there. And that's it. Then she's loaded. So now we'll place it back into the back of the camera, like that. Close the door, pop the little silver lever up, and we're almost done. Now we'll wind this. We will wind this film now until A one appears in that window and the red marker goes away. And you are ready to shoot. Up next, the Rolleiflex. As with the uh, Mamiya, the Rolleiflex is a medium format camera as well. So it takes 120 film. In order to load the film, you have to flip this guy over. Move this lever to the side. Flip that over which now opens up the back. To make this a little easier for this video, I will move these guys out, which releases the whole back. Now, in this case, the empty spool is also going to become the pickup spool, so we'll have to move it first. So we'll pull this lever out on the side, flip it out, and put it on the other end. Then what we'll do is we'll grab a new roll of film, take it out of the container, and we'll do the exact, exact same thing like that. Stick it in there. And now for the most important part, you want to feed the film underneath this roller because its job is to detect when the film is advanced. And we'll feed it over like that. We'll use this hand crank on the side 
and we will start feeding the film through. About like that. Then what we'll do is we'll put the back cover back on, lock the hinges back in place, like so, flip it back over, flip that down, flip that over, and then on the side here, we will wind the camera until a one appears and it will actually stop. Turn it back and you're done. Film is loaded in your Rolleiflex. You're ready to shoot. All right, let's bulk load some film into a used cartridge. Why do I use used cartridges? Because they're cheap and I have them. Why do I use bulk film? Well, I like to do a lot of experimenting with film. So if I want to load a roll of film with 10 exposures, I can do that. Um, also loading film in the dark room onto a reel, uh, 24 exposures is so much easier than 36. And really the cost of a 36 cartridge, 36 exposure roll of film or a 24 exposure roll of film isn't really that, uh, that much different. So really, if you're gonna buy film on rolls, you're gonna buy 36 exposure film because it's just more economical. But if you bulk load your own rolls, then you can make them as big or as small as you'd like. So, first we'll take our bulk film loader and we'll open this guy up like that and we we'll use some tape and our empty cartridge. It has no film. We we'll use a little bit of tape like that. And what I usually do is I line up the sprocket holes so that they're all lined up. And that way I know it's straight. Put a little tape on the front. And a little tape on the back, like that. Get it started. Close her up. Stick the lever back in there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this guy. I usually load 24, so it actually turns out to be 24, um, 24 turns. So, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. Pull that guy out. And then we just cut it like that. And we're almost done. What we want to do next is we want to put a little starter on there like so and now you can load it in your camera. So to load film in a 35 millimeter camera, very straightforward. You pull out this lever, Boop. that pops open the back, put the roll in, slap her down, pull the film out. Make sure that it feeds. Close the back. Advance it a few times until you're at frame number one. Set your ISO to whatever you want to shoot it at and you're done. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it's been informative and please subscribe to my channel. We'll talk to you later.